Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best APS-C cameras. Starting at number 5. Fujifilm XS10. The Fujifilm XS10 comes at a lower price than the Canon EOS R7 but still offers a ton of value. If you don't need more advanced features like internal 10-bit recording and weather sealing, the XS10 is for you. While it lacks the dedicated exposure dials that Fuji fans know and love, its simpler mode dial is more accessible to newcomers. The camera has a deeper, more comfortable hand grip than its higher-end sibling, the Fujifilm X-T4. The kicker, though, and what makes this one of the best value APS-C cameras around, is that you still get built-in image stabilization, a rarity for cameras at this price point. Beyond that, it also uses the same high-resolution sensor found on the X-T4, meaning similar image and video quality at a lower price point. Just don't forget to budget for the lens. Fuji lenses are pricier than the kit lens you get with a camera like the Nikon Z50. The Nikon is a great alternative if you want to save a bit of money, though it doesn't have IBIS, and lens options are more limited. Coming at number 4. Canon EOS R7. The Canon EOS R7 is the best mid-range model we've tested. It's a well-rounded APS-C camera with everything you need to capture high-quality photos and videos. Although crop sensor RF lenses are still limited, you can always adapt EF lenses if you're already a Canon DSLR shooter. Besides, there's enough to love about this camera that it's still a top contender in this price range. With a fantastic in-body image stabilization system, it's well-equipped for handheld video work or photos at slower shutter speeds. The camera also has best-in-class autofocus and quick burst shooting, so it's a great choice for sports and wildlife photography. Performance aside, it's also sturdy and weather-sealed, with an outstanding battery life among mirrorless options. If you're considering an APS-C camera for portability, you may prefer the Fujifilm XS20, which is smaller and cheaper but has slower burst shooting and a slightly less reliable autofocus system. At number 3. Nikon Z62. The Nikon Z62 is a more affordable full-frame option than the Sony Alpha 7 IV and a fantastic camera for photography. Though it falls behind in advanced video features, this is still a well-rounded camera for amateurs and enthusiasts. You'll get excellent image quality from its sensor and very quick burst shooting for faster subjects. Plus, it handles like a dream, with amazing ergonomics and an intuitive user interface. Nikon Z lenses are also spectacular, particularly the high-end S-Line. However, these can be pricey and lens selection is still limited compared to competitors. If you're looking for a cheaper and more portable kit, the Fujifilm X-T5 is a fantastic enthusiast-oriented APS-C model. Though its smaller sensor doesn't handle noise in low light as well as the Nikon's full-frame sensor, it has a remarkably high 40-megapixel resolution that gives you plenty of detail and leeway to crop your images. Number 2 of my list Fujifilm X-H2S the Fujifilm X-H2S is one of the most capable APS-C cameras on the market and a great choice for advanced video work. Its stacked sensor gives it a quick readout speed to minimize the rolling shutter effect in videos. It can record video in up to 6.2K and supports various codecs, including high-quality Apple ProRes formats. You also have advanced video features like log recording in 10-bit 4.2.2 internally for a wider dynamic range and more flexibility in post. It comes in a sturdy, well-constructed body with weather sealing, has in-body image stabilization for smoother handheld camera movements, and has a long battery life. Its autofocus system is also Fujifilm's best yet. Overall, this is one of the best consumer mirrorless cameras you can get for video work. And number 1. Sony Alpha 7 IV. The Sony Alpha 7 IV is the best mirrorless camera we've tested. Sony's latest enthusiast hybrid camera is well suited to all kinds of photo and video work. 
With a new 33-megapixel sensor that captures remarkably detailed images, it's a notable step up from the best-selling Sony Alpha 7 III. On top of that, it has dual SD card slots, an updated autofocus system with some of the most reliable AF tracking on the market, an internal 10-bit 4.2.2 recording in 4K 60 frames per second, albeit with a 1.5x crop. Another fantastic option at this price point is the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. It's a great alternative to the Sony if you need faster burst shooting, with a burst rate of up to 40 frames per second in its electronic shutter mode. It supports raw video output over HDMI and uncropped 4K at 60 frames per second. However, lens selection is much better for Sony's E-mount, with both native and third-party options available at various price points, giving the Sony camera an edge. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.